Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I've got another what I eat in a day video. So I did one of these a couple of months ago and you guys seem to really, really enjoy it. Actually, there was quite a lot of engagement in the video. I had a few questions from it um, and it surprisingly got quite a lot of views. So I thought, why not do another one? I will be honest, I haven't been like continuously doing the calorie deficit diet since that video. I've definitely had a few blips in the road, um, but I am back on it. I've been back on it for a couple of weeks now. And I did actually up my calorie intake to 1750 rather than the 1600 I felt like that was a much better base for me I felt like I was much more fill up and satisfied with what I was eating I also do want to mention because it could have something to do with this um after filming that video I did go on to a contraceptive pill which I definitely think does increase my hunger and I felt that when I was doing the 1600 calories it just wasn't enough and I was still feeling hungry so I decided to up it by 150 so that's basically why that's changed but I just thought why not share with you some of my favourite meals obviously I only shared three meals in that video and I obviously eat more than three meals every week just thought it'd be really really fun to share this with you I could definitely make this a little bit of like a series where I do more um, so do let me know in the comments if you do enjoy and you want to see more of these videos I can't wait for you guys to see what I have been eating what I've been up to so without further ado let's get going this is what I'm going to have for my breakfast like I said I've been having this quite often recently because I really really like it so I've just made myself a massive pint of orange squash because in the morning that's like the one thing I always want um and then I've also just got some of these Weetabix with chocolate so they're just average Weetabix but they're chocolate flavored and I find them so so much nicer and they don't taste like normal Weetabix I like normal Weetabix anyway but I just feel like these are just a bit nicer they're super high in fiber they're low in salt and they're not very high in fat either so I really really like them um and then obviously I'm just gonna add my milk I've just got like m and milk here um and then obviously got my bowl and and my scales again because you guys know that the scales are what I live by if I'm calorie counting because they just make it so much easier to measure everything okay so I pop my Weetabix in the bowl as you can see they're almost like a bit of a different color I pop in 100 ml of milk and I tend to do this because it works out I think around like 50 calories 100 ml of milk isn't a lot I won't lie but for Weetabix I don't ever feel like I need a lot um, and I'm not a massive fan of milk anyway like I won't like drink the milk afterwards so 100 ml is always a good ratio for me so obviously I I did slightly go by 7 grams or whatever, but it's really not a big deal. Um, and I've worked out the calories. This works out about 216, um, which I really don't think is bad at all. It's all quite good for you um, as well, so I don't really mind too much. It's quite filling, um, and it always does the job before I go to the gym. Um, I made the mistake a couple of weeks ago of going to the gym before eating breakfast, and I literally felt so lightheaded and sick afterwards. So I feel like eating this, it's not too heavy, but it definitely just like gives me what I need. Okay, so I thought I'd share with you guys how I make these really low calorie kinder like fudge brownies. They're really, really, really nice. I think they work at about 79 calories a slice, um, but I don't want to take full like credit for the recipe. I actually got the recipe from someone called Weight Loss Beth on TikTok. So I'll leave that link down below if you guys want to check it out. Um, but I just feel like it's ideal because I'm someone that always loves a pudding and I love Kinder Bueno and I love things like that. So I feel like this would be ideal. So the ingredients that I'm going to be using is granular sweetener i've just got like a morrison's one i've also got cocoa powder plain flour baking powder we've got vanilla extract you're gonna need two eggs we've got some milk as well because you're gonna need some semi-skinned milk and then fat-free greek style yogurt um, and then of course you actually need some kinder chocolate which we're gonna break up into pieces um, and also drizzle on top of them when they're a little bit more finished so i'm gonna get making these um i think i'm gonna put it over a time lapse but if you guys would like me to do more of an in-depth go through if there's recipe or something i can definitely do that um, and i will try and leave all the recipe information down below and somewhere on screen if you guys want to check it out.
Okay, so this is where we're at. We've obviously mixed all of the ingredients together. So it's made this kind of like brownie cake mix here, which actually looks and smells really, really good. Um, and then I've also just got my brownie baking tray here, which I have buttered slightly. Um, I used some of the Flora Light, um, which is 27 calories to 10 grams. This wasn't in the recipe, um, but I just did it because I don't want the brownies to stick too much. So if you guys do the same, maybe include this in your calories if you want to. Now I'm gonna pour this into the baking tray um, and then we're gonna get to do the fun part of putting on our Kinder chocolate bars, which I literally can't wait for. So the brownies have come out the oven and they actually look so, so nice. Obviously, I'm yet to eat them. Um, but I've now just melted the final two um, leftover bits of the Kinder Bueno and I'm just going to drizzle this on top. And this is obviously the finished result. I'm going to have one of these as my pudding, I think, later on. So I'll check in with you guys when I actually cut it all up into slices. But I just think these look so, so good and are really, really good for the 79 calories. So I'm just making my lunch now. So I thought I'd just take you through how I've done everything, how I've measured things, things like that. So I think I'm going to make some pizza thins um, and I'm going to put some chicken breast on top to get some protein in there. So I have measured out 30 grams of cheese. I think this works at about 118 calories. Um, I've then got my tomato puree here for my base, which is so low in calorie, so I love using it. Um, we've then got some water thins. So for two of these, it's 200 calories, which is what I'm gonna do. Um, and then I've got my chicken breast slices as well that need to be used up for today. Um, and for 50 grams of this, it is 63 calories. So it's super low calorie, but I feel like it feels like a really nice filling almost like a cheat meal, I don't know. What I'm gonna do first is I am going to cover the bases, measure out the tomato puree onto the thins, pop some cheese on, and then I'm gonna put them under the grill for like a minute or two, it really doesn't take too long. out the 50 grams of chicken um so i'm just going to kind of just like sprinkle this on um and what i love about these pizza breads is you can literally put whatever you want on them um i've put pepperoni slices on there before um you can put i put like tuna on them before because i love tuna um a lot of different meats and things or you can just have them with cheese as well cheese ones are always just really really nice um but i just find that they are just like really tasty um and just kind of like spice up my lunch is a little bit more. The pizza breads are just in there now. Um, and I've also just set aside some other snacks to go with it because I'm greedy and I get really hungry. Um, and I'm actually heading off to work at one o'clock and it's currently quarter past 12. So I want to have something filling and there we have it. I have got my lunch. It doesn't look the best um, in presentation wise, but this is super filling, super nice. And I feel like if you were doing any other diet, this would feel like such a naughty lunch, but it's completely calorie deficit. I think I've worked out the calories to be around 600. Okay, so I'm gonna start making my dinner now. Um, and what I've decided to do is a, like a small pasta bake just for me. Um, so I'm gonna be taking these little dishes that I got from, I wanna say like Poundland a little while ago, um, but they're ideal for making like baked oats and things like that. But I actually thought it'd be really, really good to make a pasta bake for one rather than a massive one where I have to like divvy out the calories this one I know exactly what it is so I'm going to be taking 90 grams of this fusilli pasta um, because it works out about 200 when cooked um, and I feel like it's always important to have a look at the back when you're measuring your calories for pasta because for a little while I was actually measuring my pasta so wrong um, and I was eating way more calories than I realized so it's always really good to look at it as cooked and uncooked to see what the calories are like so usually different um, I've also got some mozzarella, so I'm going to add 30 grams of that to the top. Mozzarella is actually lighter than um, cheese, so it's really, really good. Um, you can have more of it for the calories as well, so that'll go on top of the pasta bake. Um, I've obviously got my pasta bake sauce. This is a Morrison's one, and I'm going to be using a quarter of the jar um which i think is 118 calories um and then i've also got a whole tin of tuna as well because i do love tuna and i feel like this is just going to add some protein to it and bulk it out a little bit more <laughs> So 
just while the pasta has been cooking, I just measured out the um, pasta bake sauce. So this is 125 grams, um, which is actually a lot. Um, and obviously I will add water to it as well while it's baking in the oven. So I think that's pretty good to be honest for 118 calories. I think that's really good actually. Um, so yeah, measured that all out ready. Um, and then obviously I've just got my pasta um going strong here so i'm just draining off the pasta now obviously it doesn't look like a huge amount but i feel like with the tuna and the sauce and everything like that it's gonna definitely bulk it out preheated the oven so that's already on um i'm gonna add this i'm gonna add the tuna add the sauce and then add a little bit of water and then i think about five minutes before i'm gonna take it out i'll then pop some of the mozzarella on so that it can kind of melt really really nice <laughs> obviously the finished product of the tuna and tomato pasta bake i worked this out to be 614 calories which i really don't think is that bad because it's a really decent size it's definitely going to fill me up um and i've also just put some grapes to the side here as well because i'm going to have those afterwards and i think the grapes were 69 calories for 100 grams which i don't think was too bad at all but i'm so excited to eat this it looks so so good appreciate how good this looks as well oh my god a dream just to finish off um for the rest of the day i've got my pudding so i've obviously grabbed a brownie that i made from earlier and then i've also put a hundred mil or grams of Muforia uh bed and jerry's which works out as 136 calories this is a dessert like an act oh i'm just i'm so excited to eat it honestly and i think it's so good for i think it's just over 200 calories obviously in the description box i will say how many calories everything was but i'm going to delve into this now i heated it up um, i'm going to watch some tv and i'm really really excited Okay, so I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do remember to give it a big thumbs up and let me know down below in the comments if you guys would like to see more. Of course, click that subscribe button to be here for all of my future content and I'll hopefully see you all very, very soon in another video. Bye!